Hello, I'm Representative Melanie Stambaugh. Thank you for the opportunity to serve the 25th District here in the State House of Representatives. We are heading into the seventh week of legislative session, and we just passed our first deadline of the session, policy cutoff. This week is the second deadline. It's called fiscal cutoff. That means that any bill that has a fiscal impact on the budget must be passed out of its respective fiscal committee by the end of this Friday. As a member of the House Transportation Committee, which is a fiscal committee, we are scheduled to meet every day this week between 1.30 p.m. and 7 p.m. Other budget committees, like the Appropriations, Capital Budget, and Finance Committees, are also hearing and voting on bills this week. This week in my office, I met with our local school directors, corrections workers, sexual violence and domestic violence awareness advocates, and employees of our local credit unions. Additionally, two interns from Washington Policy Center spent the day in my office learning about the legislative process. Also, my second cousin, Joe Welch, was part of the PAGE program, paging for Representative Ed Orcutt, his representative, from the 20th District. After last week's policy cutoff, seven bills that I sponsored are continuing in the legislative process. House Bill 2087 will be heard next week in the Transportation Committee. This bill increases protections for our roadside workers. House Bill 1950, which would require written correspondence to be sent via certified mail from the ethics boards in our state, did not receive a hearing in the House State Government Committee. However, its Senate companion, Senate Bill 5796, was heard thanks to Senator Zeiger and Senator Melosha in the Senate State Government Committee. This bill passed unanimously and will be heading to the Senate Rules Committee. The Capitol campus was full of visitors this past week. Over 100 women with the Federation of Republican Women came down to the Capitol to hear and speak with their legislators last Friday. Additionally, more than 250 high schoolers who participate in 4-H programs in more than 20 counties were here in Olympia for the Know Your Government Conference. I had the privilege of being the keynote speaker for their opening dinner, where I shared about my legislative experience, how the legislative process works, and shared with them the importance of finding their passion, being confident, and making a difference in their communities and our state. This week, on day 57, the Legislative Ethics Board released their decision. It is necessary to challenge because I stand strong for the people of Washington State that public information about our state and government belongs to the people. This legislative session, my legislative video updates are being privately produced so that you, the constituents of the 25th District, can stay up to date on our work in the Capitol. Thank you for the many people who share these videos and add your comments. Together, we can make the policies fit the needs of our community. This past Saturday, Senator Zeiger, Representative McDonald, and myself had our first coffee and conversation in the 25th District held at the Puyallup Library. This was a great success. There was standing room only at the meeting, and it was an hour and a half of questions, answers, and dialogue about our community needs and action in the legislature. Thank you for those that shared your concerns and your broad, diverse opinions. I invite you to contact my office with any questions or concerns you have about policies moving through the legislature. It is an honor to serve our community. Come down and see me. Visit our Capitol and see your government in action. Thank you.